Hi everyone, this is Callie with craftingcallie.wordpress.com. So today I've got a wedding card for you. I've been making a lot of birthday cards lately, so it's kind of nice to um, change it up a little bit. I'm using a stamp set here called Your Perfect Day by Stampin' Up. It was available during the Spring Occasions catalog, and it has not been continued. So it's, it's discontinued as of um, June 3rd. Um, but um, it's a beautiful stamp set and I wanted to use it for this card. I've made something similar to this before, but I uh, had not started making my videos at the time, so I decided I would make a video on this today. For the most part, um, this card is going to be a one layer card. I do add a little bit thin strip of cardstock down at the bottom towards the end, but um, yeah, for the most part, it's gonna be a one layer card. I'm gonna stamp directly on this card base. It's uh, 110 pounds recollection, so um, I'll go ahead and stamp this first image of this circular vine using mint macaron. This is a brand new in color, so it's going to be around for the next two years. Um, it's a really pretty soft green, and it really does stamp a little bit darker in this uh, video. I think it's just the lighting, but um, it is a really pretty light green, and um, so it's soft and perfect for a wedding. Um, this next color is called Crisp Cantaloupe, and it's been discontinued. Um, it was a previous in color, and so um, it's been replaced by the new in colors. But um, it was a it's a pretty pink color as well. It it's a little bit brighter than Blushing Bride, which is a current um, classic color by Stampin' Up. But I thought I'd use it since it's new to me, and I've never used this color before. And as you can see there, I did press a little bit hard and got some ink on the stamp and transferred it onto my paper. You'll see here in a little bit how I fix that. I am using a nail file and I am just using a circular motion to buff those areas off. And I think it turned out pretty good. The paper does look a little bit rough, um, but you can't really tell. And really, the receiver of the card is not going to be able to tell that you buffed a little bit of um, paper off. So next I'm going to be doing some heat embossing. So I prepared my card surface there with an embossing powder bag. And I'll go ahead and mount this uh, sentiment and I'll be stamping and inking it up with some Versamark ink. I love heat embossing and um, I, have, I don't think I've ever used the gold before so I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I do push it down a little bit hard on the bottom right there so I do get a little bit of extra um, gold powder on it. This is wow rich gold powder and it, it's so pretty. Um, but regarding that little extra bit of powder down there towards the bottom right hand corner I'm going to use a brush and I'm just going to sweep the excess off and once I'm done getting the excess off I'll go ahead and prepare my heat tool make sure it's good and hot before I use it and then um, once that's completely embossed it gives this beautiful gold sheen that you'll see here in a second it's so pretty see um, so once I'm done with that I'm gonna bring in this irresistible cardstock that was also available during the occasions period I never used these products enough anyway I finally broke into it I'm gonna be using this it's almost a a prepared um, emboss resist cardstock basically um, it's on white cardstock and so you can um, add any types of colors or watercolor on it that you want anyway I have a strip here that's mm, a little bit less than an inch and um, I'm just going to add crisp cantaloupe to it using a sponge wedge. And uh, once I am done transferring ink, or as much ink as I want to it, I make sure it's good and clean um, the, on the embossed areas. Make sure to wipe that extra ink away or you'll transfer some of that ink onto your white cardstock and, and that's not what we want. So I'll clean my hands off and then I'll um, transfer this little strip that I've just colored onto the bottom of this card. Um, it just ties in all the colors and, and I think it adds a little bit of interest to the card. So um, I'm gonna use some Tombow adhesive, just some regular tape runner. This is the Dots tape runner that I have. Um, you can get it at Joann's or any local craft store, so easily accessible. So um, I'll go ahead and adhere that and then I'll add some Chris Cantaloupe Thick Baker's Twine. Again, this color is discontinued, but I have all the products. I went ahead and purchased a lot of it when it went um, on clearance before um, it got discontinued. So I have these products, so I'm, I'm trying to use them, and um, this Baker's Twine is really nice. 
Um, I like that it's thicker and I love that it coordinates with um, the inks, of course. So I'll go ahead and tie my bow here with this twine and uh, once I'm done, I'll go ahead and trim that. And I usually don't work on the inside of the card. I, I like to save that space for writing, but since this is such a simple card, I decided to go ahead and stamp something on the inside as well. So you'll see here in a minute after I trim my um, twine here, I'll go ahead and turn it on uh, and work on the inside. I'm gonna use some stays on ink to stamp um, this really pretty matching coordinating cake and um, I use stays on because I didn't want it to bleed I'm going to be using Stampin' Up's blender pen so once I stamp that I'll go ahead and pull back in my crisp cantaloupe um, ink pad and I could use the marker I didn't think of it at the time but I went ahead and, and used the ink pad since it was sitting there and I'm gonna use my blender pen and just dab a little bit of ink onto um, the tip of the pen and then I'll add and transfer some color and blend it out. I'll do that to all three tiers and uh, it doesn't need to look perfect. I just wanted to add a little bit of color. I'm using the blender pen to add this color instead of using um, direct marker coloring because um, I just want some soft subtle um, coloring. I don't want it to look too bright or too solid. So I think this is really pretty. And once I'm done doing this, I'll go ahead and pull in my mint macaron um, stamp and write marker to kind of add color to those vines. There's no coloring to be done there, so I did not use my blender pen for that, but I will use a little bit of it on the bird um, to transfer some of that color throughout um, the body of the bird. And that pretty much completes my card. So I hope you've liked it and go ahead and hit the like button if you do. Um, if you don't, don't hit the dislike button. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Um, I know there are people out there who don't realize how much time we spend making these cards and videotaping it to share with other people. So um, I've gotten my first two dislikes and it kind of hurts a little bit. <laughs> um, I know you, people are still going to do what they think, so um, it's all right with me. Um, it's a matter of differing opinions, but um, I appreciate everyone who watches and um, has decided to follow me and, and to watch my YouTube videos. So I really appreciate all the support. Um, thanks again for watching. All the supplies and uh, tools will be listed in, the, listed in the descriptions below and also on my blog if you'd like to visit. So thank you again for watching and have a great day. Bye everyone.